So, you've been inspired by your old pal Sam Regal to play a gnome in 5th edition D&D. Lucky for you, I'm Sam Regal, and I'm here with the ins and outs of your favorite pint-sized PC race, those lovable masters of all things intricate and illusory, gnomes. So grab that character sheet, because it's time for another quick build on today's Hand Booker Helper. Sing that sweet, sweet music, Sam! Don't know how to play, we'll, we'll show, show you the way. Handbook, 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 handbooker helper, handbooker helper. Ding. Ding indeed. Although they're among the smallest of character races with an average height of three feet and a lean 45 pounds of mass, gnomes are known for their huge hearts and their mighty intellects. They're an active, inventive people, full of innate curiosity and whimsy that carries them through life with all the enthusiasm of your neighbor's demanding child, even when they can be nearly a half a century old. Gnomes love to party and strive to live la vida loca, even if it means traveling across the realm to stop an evil arch lich from becoming a usurper god. But you know what? We've seen that story already. Adventurous gnomes often leave behind their underground homes to explore new and exotic places because it brings them joy and because they love getting those little stamps in their tiny little passports. But, you know, enough about fancy schmancy role playing. You want to know about their powers, right? I don't blame you because they're pretty cool. So let's get straight to the traits. Hey, that rhymes. Like me, gnome characters are naturally smart and gain a plus two to intelligence. Their size is small, duh, with their stumpy little legs moving at a speed of 25 feet. And after becoming adults at around age 40, they can gnome it up almost 500 scrappy years before they kick it. When it comes to alignment, guess what? Most gnomes are pretty good. Since they're used to life underground, gnomes have dark vision up to 60 feet that allows them to see dim light as if it were bright and non-magical darkness as if it were dim. I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> Meanwhile, gnome cunning provides advantage on all intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throws against magic and magical effects. And just like yours truly, gnome characters can speak, read, and write both in common and gnomish, which uses the dwarvish script for all you symbology nerds. There are two, count them, two subraces of gnomes in the fifth edition player's handbook, Forest and Rock, which was also the name of my ill-fated high school metal band. Deep gnomes are hinted at in the PHB, but we're learning the basics here, so back off. Forest gnomes are your basic hippies. They're all about hidden grottos, man, and misty glades where they frolic with other woodland creatures like elves and fey folk. To assist said frolicking, forest gnomes gain plus one to dexterity and the innate ability to cast minor illusion. Plus, forest gnomes can speak with small beasts using sounds and gestures and even dance moves. Cue the Disney musical number! No, we can't afford Disney songs? Cool. Cool. Rock gnomes, on the other hand, are hardy tinkerers with increased constitutions and a mastery of lore. Their Artificer's Lore ability allows rock gnomes to double their proficiency bonus on all history checks related to magical, alchemical, or technological stuff. The Tinker ability makes rock gnomes proficient with artisan's tools, which means they can build tiny, adorable clockwork devices with their tiny, adorable hands. Gnomes are so rad. The question isn't, what kind of gnome do I play? It's, why haven't I been playing a gnome all along? Do yourself a favor and take a walk on the small side. If you do, I guarantee big things await. Until next time, I'm Sam Regal, and you've been watching Handbooker Helper. Take us out with that sweet, sweet voice, me. Handbook, 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 handbooker helper, handbooker helper. I haven't ever watched this show. Do I have to point to drawings or anything? I can just point to things and you guys because look at this. Oh, and then this.